Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And I just want to share something before I put these clips on. Now, these are people that have seen tsunamis where they, they testify that they've been shown them in a dream or vision. And I also have seen one. I was shown one. The Lord showed me one on the West Coast, on the Golden... I was on the San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge when it happened. I was with my mother. And the water hit, and it was on the right-hand side of the highway as we were crossing over. We went veered over to the left, and we had just crossed the bridge when the water came completely up over the bridge. So uh, I, I'm going to put my testimony and then I'm going to share these other testimonies. And also I just pray that you understand God always warns His people. Always. Um, he uses people to give prophetic warning. Sometimes it's very unpopular. Nobody wants to hear bad things. But He does it to comfort, confirm who He is. He's the truth, the way, and the life. Okay, so I pray you know him, and if you don't know him, run to his arms today. Don't wait. Okay, here are the clips. Thanks for listening. God bless. Uh, I saw one of the things that I talked about was a was an, a tsunami that was going to hit the both coasts. One was going to hit the east coast, and one was going to hit the west coast. And I began to talk. I talked a little bit about that. And so, uh, uh, no, I don't know anything about timing. I don't know about the near future. I do know there was one coming. Uh, from an unusual event, which which I probably shouldn't even have said that, uh, but there is one coming. Uh, what I saw hit New York City. Uh, I'm not sure how far south down the east coast it came, so uh, I'm not sure whether it hits the Myrtle Beach area or not. I just saw it hitting New York City, and obviously somewhere south of there and north of there was hit, was hit as well. And then I saw one coming to the west coast and hitting L.A., and uh, several of the buildings that were seven to ten stories tall were underwater. I was right outside of Charleston, South Carolina, and in this vision, I was in a duplex. And there was a woman taking pictures at the bottom. It was very beautiful. I could see the city, real, real clean, mm -hmm. nice city, yeah. clear day. And I looked over to the right and I saw a bridge, and the bridge had a big interstate sign that said Charleston. And I knew, well, I'm near Charleston, South Carolina. It must be across the bridge. Well, I didn't know there were bridge connect, bridges connecting there. I had no idea because I never preached in Charleston. And uh, all of a sudden, I saw a dark cloud forming. I said, oh, my goodness, there's trouble coming. And the lady's out taking pictures, and I'm trying to hit the window saying, get, get to safety. Get to safety. Turn back, and I'm at the bridge. I see two things at once. I see the, the twin towers ghosted come up out of the water. Mm. The twin towers. So immediately I'm thinking, okay, are, is this, is this going to be a terrorist attack? Are they going to be able to do what I'm about to see through a terrorist attack? And I, I can't answer that. I think, I think military men could answer that better than I could because I really can't answer what I'm about to tell you. Is it natural or is it made by an explosion underwater? I don't know. I saw a tsunami. I have never seen waves. I'm trying to see in the building if I could see. Yeah. Probably up to the top of that arch at least. I do know this. It hit the bridge. And when it hit the bridge, it was with such force. And I don't know if they put explosives under the bridge, but it, it was like a combination. That whole bridge collapsed. And it was so high, it was, gonna, it was coming right into those duplexes to the second story. Mm-hmm. And I remember grabbing, and, and in every one of these, Jim, and I'm, I'm being as serious as I can be, in every one of these, there's been at least 10. I'll tell you three of them. I'm always grabbing water and food. One home I'm in was in Baltimore, Maryland. And I said, oh, my Lord. They said, well, all of a sudden, there's water in the streets, and it's getting higher. I said, you've had a tsunami. It was Chesapeake Bay area. And we're running upstairs, and I said, grab every snack you can, and bottle of water and go upstairs right now and fill your bathtub and sink up with water because it's drinkable. So I'm telling people to, to, uh, to hit the, hit, you know, fill your sink up, fill your bathtub up, make sure you've got water because it's going to be, if that happens, the water gets bad. You know, you, you don't have good water to drink. Uh, then I saw one on the West Coast. And just the other night, and I'm going to go ahead and name these individuals because they're close friends and they trust they have confidence in what I say, that this is not flaky. 
the tsunami dreams happened every two to three weeks for over a year. Mm. And by now I'm about to go crazy. I'm thinking, God, what, what is this about? I mean, there's a shaking coming from the East Coast and water's coming that way. But there's something on the West Coast, water's coming that way. And when it does, I mean, the last one I had about California, I saw it coming in so high that we were in cars trying to get up to the mountains. Now, this is how real it was. And we went up, I don't even know where we were. We were in Orange County somewhere, but we got up a mountain. Mm -hmm. And I got out of the car, and the next thing I know, I'm in a woman's house, and she happens to know my ministry from TV. She sees me outside, and she says, are you Perry Stone? She says, oh, my God, come in here and look at the news. And she was able to get satellite, I guess. And I saw the Fox News Network with helicopters on the news. And they're saying water is everywhere. Buildings are underwater. There are bodies floating already. This was horrible, Jim. And in the dream, my wife was with me. We do go to California and preach, by the way. I pray, believe me, I pray before I go there on those trips. I mean, really, after having this, you don't know, you know. But in every dream, and some of them were visions, uh, uh, it's the same thing. The water comes into the area very heavy, and I'm always screaming at people, get water and food and get to the top. Go to the highest place you can go with water and food. Now, see, some people... Uh, I, I know you have food supplies, and they're in barrels. Now, I'm going to tell you something that you don't know. You've never heard me say this. Nobody on TV has ever heard me say this. None of my partners have ever heard me say this. But in my dreams, I see food in containers that can float. The reason I don't like to name places is because I'll get 500 phone calls. <laughs> what should I do? Should I? No, you should listen to God. That's right. This is where you have to learn to hear and That's pray. Right. God don't want everybody just moving all over the country right. because tsunamis have come tsunamis and people have survived. Are coming. They're, no, they're definitely coming. They're coming. I can, I can put my hand on this book and tell you I used to see things and I wouldn't talk about it. I would tell a few people mm -hmm. enough to know. I'd say, now, here's what's going to happen, here's what's going to happen. And it would happen. They said, Perry, mm -hmm. why didn't you tell, every, tell other people? Yes. So now that things have happened, like the 9 11, yes. the Orwick, th or Orwick thing, the, the death of bin Laden, you know, two and a half years, God tells me Bush is going to be president. Now that this is happening, I'm a little bit more bold to say, okay, I know when I keep seeing it yeah. that I'm not crazy. January the 4th, 2018, received a prophetic dream last night. It's important that you pray about this and weigh this up with the Bible for yourself. Pray about it. This is, this is a short, sharp, snap, warning dream, okay? In my dream... I saw the east coast of the USA, so there's a drip on my nose, so the east coast of the USA, and I saw the letters M-A, Ma, Ma, M-A, Massachusetts. I looked it up, Massachusetts. <laughs> but also I knew that it was Massachusetts because there were two people that I visited in Massachusetts around a year ago, um, and these two people were Cheryl and Kristen. I saw in my dream, lovely people they are. Um, now, Cheryl and Kristen, if you're watching this, please do not be freaked out. I believe the reason that I saw you both in my dream was a confirmation that it was in, on for the east coast of the USA. I saw 50 meters tsunami. 50 meter tsunami. Okay, Googled that and it works out around 164 feet tsunami. <clears throat> Heading towards MA, Massachusetts, east coast of USA. Warning. This is a warning to you. There is going to be a 50 metre tsunami coming to the east coast of the USA soon, Massachusetts. And along the east coast region, warning, warning, warning. Had this in the dream last night.